intense heat, heat waves, as my friend said. Complete, terrible weather conditions, pollution, be it air pollution and water pollution. All these activities that you hear about and have witnessed are a cause of distress and havoc to the world. Global warming has caused a lot of mess. Be it the floods that you have witnessed, be it here in Kenya, Africa, and many parts of the world. The hurricane, you know, beat the hurricane Katrina and the many hurricanes. I remember when I was in the US in 2003, there was the hurricane Katrina and I was almost at the eye of it. The whole place was devastated. But by the amazing grace I survived in Richmond, Virginia. There have been wildfires, wildfires, here in Kenya and many parts of the world because of global warming, heat waves. And these fires have caused a lot of devastations. Two years ago, in Australia, the whole country was in dire challenges. In California, the fires also caused a lot, of, a lot of devastation. I had my friend who was living in the forest of, in California. He was evacuated three times by helicopter from San, San, San Francisco because of the fire. He had to move and relocate to Tennessee, where he is now based in the desert. These are bad devastations. And this friend of mine is blind. So you can imagine being evacuated by helicopter almost three times in that state. So these effects of climate change are a huge hindrance to people living with disability. Because when there is hurricane, these, my friends, get displaced. They bear the brunt of these conditions. You can imagine if there are floods, even looking just down here in Kibera, slums, when there are floods, the hugely affect people living with disability. When there are fires, they hugely affect people living with disability. And as a result of this global warming and air pollution and water pollution. There are also other medical complications that arise as a result of this. Heart conditions, diabetes as a result of kidney conditions, allergies, you know, malaria, Pneumonia, all these are challenges that we face mm -hmm. and they cause a lot of more harm to people living with disability. Look, for example, at someone who is an albino. He must use sunscreens. 
when there is that, when he's in the sun, the heat. So the effects of global warming, air pollution, really seriously affects people living with disability. And you find these are people who suffer the most because of poverty. People who are with living with disability are poor. And they suffer from poverty. So you can imagine now, with these conditions, it gets a huge toll on them. The whole health conditions, you know, are highly, highly affected. Look at food security, the nutrition, because if there is a lot of heat, you